Understanding Denzel Curry is brought to you by Skillshare. The first 500 people to sign up will get two months for free at the link in the description. Denzel Curry is a hard worker. Even though he's only 24, he started releasing music in 2011, when he was 16 years old. Having grown up and started his career in Carroll City, Florida, Denzel was one of the core members of the South Florida rap scene that briefly took over hip hop across the world before meeting a violent end. He's still young, but he's been through more than enough hardship and tragedy. Pair that with his incredible work ethic and natural talent for songwriting, and ultimately, you'll get one of the strongest rappers in the game. This is the story of Denzel Curry. Denzel was born in a small city near Miami. He was interested in poetry from a young age, but his interest in poetry turned into a passion for rapping when he reached middle school. Denzel went to the Miami Design and Architecture High School as well, one of the best schools in the US, until he was expelled in the 10th grade. After that, he switched to his local school and decided to start making music. Denzel's first mixtape was released in 2011. It got reposted by Space Ghost Perp, an underground record producer who works with ASAP Rocky, among other artists. Following his meeting Space Ghost Perp, Denzel joined Perp's music collective, Raider Clan. Denzel's next mixtape was released a year later. This time, he received praise from Earl Sweatshirt and other members of the Odd Future label. He would make one more mixtape with Raider Clan before leaving the group and deciding to build his own solo career. But Denzel's early music honestly isn't very good. The versions of it that have been uploaded to YouTube are very compressed, and even when I try to listen through that, the music that is there is still really unpolished. But you can tell that Denzel was a promising rapper, even as a high school student. His rapping was strong and he was working hard to develop his own style. But the fact that his early music is so raw is exactly what makes him such a good musician almost a decade later. He didn't blow up and become a viral star after one mixtape. He had to work and improve his craft over time. Denzel has released three studio albums to date. His first album, Nostalgic 64, was released in September 2013, just a few months after he graduated high school. N64 introduced Denzel to the hip-hop world as an underground rapper with hard-hitting beats and a lot to say. It was similar to his early mixtapes, but a lot more polished and well-written. Tragedy struck between the release of N64 and Denzel's next project. On March 4, 2014, Denzel's brother Treyon Johnson was killed by police after being tased and pepper sprayed in an incident involving a dog. Denzel has said that his brother died of cardiac arrest after a freak reaction to the tasing. Denzel later talked about how his first appearance at South by Southwest was overshadowed by the death of his brother, who he had to go home and bury after the festival. Denzel's next release wasn't an album, but a double EP. He divided the project into a double EP to represent two sides of his personality, Angry Denzel and Psychedelic Denzel. The project was received positively by critics, even if most people had a few questions about Denzel's maturity as an artist. The most common observation about this project was that Denzel was an interesting and talented young artist who had yet to find his unique artistic voice. The double EP is far more polished and mature than N64. It also featured the song Ultimate, which would go on to be Denzel's breakout hit and amass over 100 million streams on Spotify. Denzel's next project, Imperial, was his second studio album. It's a relatively short, refined record with 10 tracks and a total running time of 40 minutes. Fans of Denzel loved the album, but sadly it didn't really make waves outside of his already existing circle. And because of that, Denzel Curry started growing a reputation as an underrated rapper. It was actually around this time that Denzel met the younger rappers XXXTentacion and Ski Mask the Slump God, two musicians that would eventually eclipse his popularity with their chaotic, distorted beats and emotional raps. At the time, X was working in a call center and trying to get his music career off the ground. Denzel met X at a house party he was hosting and they soon decided to move in together. Denzel tried his best to keep X out of trouble and for that, he was instrumental in X's rise to fame. 
Denzel's next album wouldn't come for another two years after Imperial, and a long two years at that. Between the release of Imperial and Taboo, Denzel's ex-roommate and good friend X was killed. He left Florida and moved to LA, and he released an EP called 13 to build anticipation for the sound and themes he would explore on his third album. The 13 EP is Denzel's most visceral and SoundCloud-inspired work yet. It features vocals and production from Ronnie J on the track Equalizer. After beginning 2018 with a hugely successful round of singles to build hype for Taboo, the album dropped at the end of July. Taboo was immediately recognized as one of the best albums of the year, and it would become Denzel's most commercially successful project yet, peaking at number 28 on the Billboard 200. Taboo was hugely successful with critics as well. It marks the first time Denzel received mainstream attention for his efforts. A Pitchfork writer described the album like this. When he sticks to the highly personal, Curry's music is devoid of all cliché. The power of his performance, the veracity of his pen, and the color of his wordplay make him an expert at voicing the tribulations of the doomed condition we call being young. All of this makes him impossible to place in the broader SoundCloud rap domain. Signs point to an artist who will outlast any single distribution platform, or any of the genres named for them. All of that is to say, Taboo is Denzel's very first truly mature work of art. It's taken him so long to fully realize himself because he's a meticulous artist, who clearly sets high standards for himself and works towards them with intention. In this way, he's the kind of rapper that young musicians should look up to. Taboo is a lyrically dense and instrumentally diverse album. The lyrics focus on themes like politics, relationships, and broadly, the darker and lighter aspects of modern adolescence. The title track discusses a relationship that Denzel had with a young woman who was the victim of abuse as a child, something that Denzel has also experienced himself. The song discusses the ways that people can heal together and the difficulties they might encounter in the process. Other highlights on the album include Sirens, a collaboration with J.I.D. and Billie Eilish that discusses police brutality, media, and terrorism. Taboo is a concept album as well. It's divided into three sections, light, gray, and dark. The different sections represent different aspects of Denzel's mental state. He wrote the light part when he was in a good place, and the dark part when he was struggling with his happiness. The light section is bright and energetic, with funk-inspired instrumentation, soulful singing, and a positive atmosphere. The gray section is more inspired by a traditional hip-hop style, and Denzel uses it to show off his rapping ability. Songs like Super Saiyan and Switch It Up feature some of Denzel's best rapping yet. The dark side of Taboo provides a showcase of different musical styles while Denzel shifts into a moody, angrier side of his personality to contrast the rest of the album. On the surface, Taboo sounds a lot like its contemporaries. Denzel's vocals are aggressive, a lot of his subject matter is inspired by childhood trauma, the instrumentals are dark and chaotic. But something pushes Taboo beyond the Florida SoundCloud style and into a tier of quality totally devoid of cliché or stereotype. There's a level of elegance, clarity of thought, and timeless musicality on Taboo that just isn't found almost anywhere else right now. Denzel has been busier than ever following the release of Taboo. He lives in LA now, having left Florida a couple of years ago after he and X parted ways. Later this year, he'll be touring around the US with Billie Eilish, a talented young singer with a lot of good ideas and the creativity to rival any experienced artist. Denzel's cover of a well-known Rage Against the Machine song was popular among fans as well, and further proved his diversity as a vocalist. Denzel Curry's music hits the perfect sweet spot between personal and widely appealing. He's insightful, smart, and an amazing songwriter. And all of that is to say, Denzel Curry is evolving into an artist who's going to have a lasting impact on hip-hop. That's what he's been doing from the very start of his career so many years ago in Carroll City, carefully working on how to be the best version of himself. In a genre so dominated by the contrast between old and young, old heads and the new generation, Denzel Curry exists between worlds. He's right there in the trenches with everyone else his age, but at the same time, his wisdom far exceeds his years. While we wait to hear what Denzel does next, I recommend picking up a few new skills on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 classes in design, music production, and more. You can learn skills that will improve your opportunities and help you do the work you love. Whether you want to fuel curiosity, creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. 
I personally want to recommend Young Guru's Learn How to Mix Music class. Even though they have classes for almost every aspect of hip hop production and writing, his is especially good. And best of all, Skillshare is super affordable. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access to classes for under $10 a month if you sign up for an annual membership. So join the millions of Skillshare students today with a special offer that's just for you. The first 500 people to click the link in the description will get two months of unlimited access for free.